Hello, welcome back guys. Long time no see. Um, yeah, I uh, wanted to do like an update and uh, maybe also not maybe. I will do a pickup video in this video as well. And yeah, it's got to be like divided into sections because uh, yeah, it's a lot of pickups because I haven't made a pickup video. I don't know. October? Sounds like that maybe. November? I I'm not sure. I haven't really looked. So yeah, I haven't really been feeling like doing uh, YouTube or basically doing anything uh, <laughs> like social for quite some time. Uh, to make a long story short, uh, we got hit with a pandemic uh, like everybody else. And uh, that basically meant that I was at home for almost a year. For like 10 months uh, paid <laughs> from my work and uh, I didn't need I, I, you know I could stay home and not work and get paid fantastic but after that long time uh, the company you kind of realize you know we can't really afford to do this uh, much longer so uh, they kind of restructured the whole company and uh, basically the, the position I had disappeared and so uh, yeah, to make it even longer story short, uh, I decided that it was my time to do something else because I've been in that company. I mean, I haven't been the whole 20 years, but I started 20 years ago, but I've done some th things in the middle, but basically it's almost 20 years I've been there. So, yeah, that's, it's, pretty, it's pretty long and maybe too long to stay in a company that you're not really, you don't really fancy that much. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I decided to uh, go and uh, that gave me another like 10 months paid that I didn't have to come into work at all. And uh, so basically I was home for over one year and a half and uh, trying to decide what to do next in life and like, I don't know, three days before everything ended with the old, with the old company, I got a new job. So it's like in the nick of time, but I can't really complain because I didn't really look for any jobs really. I was kind of, uh, I don't know, very lazy or yeah, I didn't just didn't feel it. But finally I got this job and uh, it was a long process to get this job. Basically I'm working on a, you know, a train yard, you know, we're kind of sorting out train cars. I don't know what the the English words for it, you know, you, one train comes in uh, at one area of the train yard, we sort it out there, then we push it over and, you know, and divides them into uh, the 35 tracks we have and make new trains, kind of. And uh, that's what I work with now and it's probably the the hardest work. I can think about think of uh, to be honest it's really really uh, physical and you walk a lot and you walk a lot with you know heavy heavy stuff and uh, you do a lot of physical work and uh, yeah I haven't done that my whole life before really uh, so yeah I'm, I'm much I'm much fitter now and <laughs> so that's good that's a positive and uh, let's see what you know where it all ends up, you can do different things in the company, and uh, and I'm gonna start learning how to drive a, a, a spe specific train um, locomotive uh, like next month. So we we'll see what ends up, but yeah, I'm 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 good. But the thing is, uh, why I'm taking this up, uh, talking about this, is because I've been so so tired every time I'm off, so I haven't really talk to anybody uh, I haven't really people probably think I'm dead but I haven't felt like hanging out with anybody really uh, doing anything I'm just tired and uh, yeah that's the way it is and uh, you know I'm sorry about that but it, you know it's my life and uh, that's what I decided to do this uh, this last six months and uh, yeah I would especially want to say sorry to my friend Andreas because yeah, uh, we were supposed to uh, do a lot of, uh, you know, gaming stuff and stuff like that, but I, yeah, I haven't felt like it at all. 
So uh, it's nobody's fault really, it's just yeah, things that happen in life. But now I'm, 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 more, I'm more up to par with this kind of workforce and uh, yeah, it, I'm not as tired anymore. I'm definitely not, you know, want to do as much maybe I did before when I'm off yet. But yeah, I'm getting that. So, so that's why I haven't been, you know, on YouTube at all. Really, I haven't been social on on internet as well with any people really. So, but I'm really starting to miss like you know the uh, online chats and uh, doing uh, live videos and just you know hang out and talk to people. So yeah, maybe I can get back into that. If people let me back in <laughs> you know, when you go away for such a long time. Anywho, uh pickups. Um yeah, I got a I got a I got a got a new system back, an old one. Um so if you watched my channel for a long time you know that I um I used to collect for every systems almost uh, all the systems on you know Sega, PlayStation and Nintendo. So like six, seven years ago I decided yes to go for like Nintendo. Because yeah, that's where my big love into video games really is. Uh, I like those more like cartoonish games and uh, platformers and Metroidvania stuff like that. I'm not really into uh, I don't know. For me, video games should look like video games. I don't know. Maybe I'm old school like that. But there was a system that I sold off that I kind of missed the most, and people are going to think like oh, it's probably PlayStation One. Yeah, PlayStation One was definitely. F a favorite but but that was back then I think PlayStation 1 now is it's like dog shit and uh, most of the games so no 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 one there's probably one or two PlayStation 1 games I will buy back but no same almost with PS2 so what I bought back is PS3 that's what I missed the most and yeah I bought the big daddy one in case I wanted to do play some PS1 and PS2 games so this is the 60 gig backwards backwards compatible to PS1 and PS2 so these PS3s are uh, I don't know if they break down e more easy than the old ones but the other ones but they are more expensive uh, definitely they're more sought out sought after so you had to pay a bit more for that so I, I think I paid around 100, 100 pounds for the system controller and everything you know the cords and stuff like that and I got a bunch of games I'm gonna show you now but I'm not keeping any of these games I mean some of the games are okay but I don't, I don't collect okay games anymore <laughs> uh, especially not on a you know a system I just wanted to get back because there's so many games that I that I missed like the Uncharted games I can't play that on Nintendo uh, so you probably get you could probably guess what I'm gonna show next in the next segment, but FIFA 11, the platinum version. Do you think I get 10 cents for this? I don't know. I think this was the release game. This is not too bad, but I'm not gonna keep it. It was Motor Storm. NHL 13, Sing Star, Sing Star, uh, something. This is a pretty good game. I had this before. Grand Turismo 5. I'm not keeping that. Grand Theft Auto 5, definitely not keeping that. Call of Duty Black Ops, definitely not keeping that. Resistance for the man, no way, sorry Bob. And the Grand Theft Auto, oh, GTA 4, I'm not keeping that. It's not my kind of games at all. So I'm gonna sell those, maybe I can get, I don't know, 20 pounds for all these games. I would be happy to get some money back. And then maybe I paid like 70, 80 for the, the PlayStation 3. So yeah, yeah, it's, I'm going to get some PlayStation 3 games back. And I have a list kind of, and uh, I will guess it's maybe 20, 30 games. And I'm not taking in anything else. Only the creme de la creme. You know, the 3D Dot Heroes, the... Puppeteers, the Uncharted, uh, the Bioshock, you know the drill, you know the games that is fucking fantastic on the PlayStation 3. 
and uh, people probably say, why didn't you play, you know, we wanted to get the PS4. They HD remasters on them. I think I uh, shot it on the PS3, it's HD. It's kind of this. I don't need a... Uh... No, no, I'm not getting a PS4. Uh, so yeah, PlayStation 3. Weird. But yeah, on to the next segment. So, let's continue on with the pickups. Uh, don't really have any, almost non-physical media to show you t uh, today. Except this TV series that I adored back in the days. And uh, back in the day, and uh, I remember my parents loved it as well. It was huge hit in Sweden. I think everybody watched it. And uh, I owned the series before, but I gave it to my mom and dad in, you know, as a Christmas gift, I think. So I bought it back. It doesn't cost much at all. It's book one and book two and uh, the whole series. It's like a mini series. And that is uh, North and South, uh, Nord and Sud. Uh, fantastic uh, uh, mini series if you haven't watched this one uh, with Patrick Swayze. Uh, rest in peace. So I got that back. And uh, I have no idea why I bought these two. I really want these two on the Wii U, but I never seem to find them, uh, at least for a good price. So when this came up and the, uh, the same guy was selling both of these uh, titles for a good good price on the 3DS, I bought them. And that is uh, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures 1 and 2. So uh, I've heard that these are exactly the same as the Wii U games. Uh, so maybe I play them there. There. I play them there, but... In the future, I will get the the both Wii U games for this this game. It's, I mean, it's not many Wii U games I really need now, so but those two are definitely the ones. And uh, there are some Wii U games in this video. So this this pickup video is old because I'm going to show you now that something I picked up a long time ago. But hey ho, I haven't made a video. So hey ho, I haven't made a video. Hey ho, I haven't made a video. Oh my god. Sorry, I had a li little, little stroke there. Happy Easter, people. It's uh, Friday and uh, I'm off work. So, yeah, this is Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2. Uh, I got the first one, I really enjoyed it. It's very a throwback to the 8 bit era of Castlevania games, but I didn't play Castlevania games on the 8 bit era, so. It's, it's no nostalgia for me, but I really like this one. It's so good, and uh, and definitely yeah, I've seen Castlevania 8-bit games over the years. You know, I've streamed them and looked at them and watched people play them and stuff like that. But I haven't played them myself. But the first one was so good, so of course I needed to get a second one, and I got the you know the the mid-tier kind of special edition from Live to Run. Uh, so it looks like an NES box and uh, like the first one. So it goes really well with the first one on the shelf. So yeah, I have to get that. That was a long time ago. That must have been like September or something, I, I would guess. Um, and then uh, I got a game that I already have. But I, got, I found it so cheap and I definitely prefer the NTSC versions of... Uh, than PAL when it comes to like a few systems, uh, especially like DS and Game Boy Advance and stuff like that, because the boxes are so much nicer and uh, yeah, it's so much better to display. So this is the PAL one I had, and here's the NTSC one. It's not a huge difference. Uh, maybe this one has more color, but you can see the spines. That's where it <laughs> really shines. The American ones. Uh, yeah. The best, the best, best part one is that one, and then it looks like these. It's horrible, and all uh, power ones are like these, like this. So I'm going to sell that one and uh, keep this one. So I was happy to find that. Wasn't looking for it, but it came up, and yeah. And then uh, this game I had before. And now I bought it back again, and uh, but I didn't know Andreas told me that this is actually a way forward game. I don't know if they were the head developers or anything, but they are, you know, 
on the back there it says way forward and if way forward is, is you know somewhat connected to the game I'm you know I'm buying it so this is the the Smurfs 2 on the Wii U and uh, yeah it looks like a fun a 2D platformer so yeah this is definitely staying in the collection and uh, if it's anything way forward can't be bad it can't be that bad who says that in that way and if you know that you're a fucking star uh, so yeah I got the PS3 and it's backwards compatible to a few systems and uh, uh, this guy uh, here in Sweden the guy I bought from I bought from him many times over the last 10 years so I know him from before he had so many you know he had so many uh, copies of this game one and two and so I couldn't really understand why but then uh, you know he, I kind of asked him and he said that his son uh, had this name and uh, that's why he you know he collected them so I asked for him you know give me one of each give me the you know the nicest nicest one you have and uh, I want the the UK ones uh, with English on the back no other language please and he gave me a really good price for both of them like really good and I enjoy these back in the days and so these are staying I'm not I'm definitely not going to collect PS2 fuck off I'm not I'm not static and uh, does <laughs> maybe I have <laughs> we all we all sick in the head but yeah yeah, so yeah, after seven years I got these back and uh, this is probably two of the maximum if I would get any else from uh, from the PS2. I can't really know, I can't really think of any more games I would like to get for the PS2 to be honest. You know, I, I don't really buy shooters anymore, shooter maps. I've sold all my shooter maps for every system. I don't collect that anymore. Because I don't really play it at home. The only time I really like to play a shoot 'em up is on the arcades. Because I want to have a you know a, an arcade stick stuck to the machine, like so it's really stuck, not like a, a stick, you know, arcade stick. So that's the only time I really enjoy playing uh, shoot 'em ups is on a, a, on an arcade OK machine. So I decided to get rid of all my shoot 'em ups and. Uh, so there's not many PS, PS2 games I want to get, but I definitely wanted these, the Maximo games. And it's Maximo, Maximo Army of Sin. And if you don't know the story behind these, these are kind of the uh, the continuation of uh, Ghosts and Goblins, but in like a 3D kind of way that Capcom did back in the day. And uh, like really good 3D platformers. I like them. And then, uh, this is something I won from a contest, and I'm probably not going to keep it though. But it's still sealed, and it's official Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. And it's a steel case for Shin Megami Tensei 5, the steel book. So I still got, you know, the Nintendo seal there, and it's still sealed. Uh, it's probably not something, anything rare or anything, but yeah, it was cool to win a, win a contest on... Uh, on a, from a YouTube channel that I really like, a Swedish one. I want some other stuff as well. A couple of figures from uh, Little Nightmares. Uh, I really like Little Nightmares. That Swedish made game actually. Uh, then we got a stack of Switch games. Some really good ones here, of course. Uh, and some of them I already started playing. A Hat in Time. I kind of thought this game would be better. I don't know why. It was, yeah, it was something uh, over the years since I heard about this game and everybody talking about it. You know, it's a throwback to the the the, the three D platformers from like two generations back. So it's it, you know it's really good, but yeah. The camera is not that good in this one, but yeah, it's good. It's good. It's definitely, it's definitely not bad at all. Uh, I haven't, I haven't finished that at all, and I'm definitely enjoying it. But it's not ten out of ten. It's, but it's an eight. So definitely, 
worth it. Oh, birthday curse of the moon, mm -hmm. the second one. And this one I played a lot as well, and this is very much like uh, Donkey Kong Country, uh, Donkey Kong Country games. So that's Case uh, and the Wild Masks. Uh, I haven't played it for many hours, but what I, what I could see they uh, I borrowed a lot from Donkey Kong Country. And that's not a bad thing at all. Uh, th those are definitely one of the best uh, 2D platforming series of all time, I think. Um, not that difficult yet, but yeah, we'll see. And yeah, we're talking about difficulty. Crash Bandicoot 4, still sealed, haven't played it. And I'm dreading a little bit to play this because I know I want to get everything. And oh my god, 100% of this game looks to be like a real bitch so I don't know if I will ever do that so now I got Crash uh, it's a 1, 2, 3 uh, the HD remakes and now I got this so it's, it's time for me to really get into Crash because I never really got into Crash which is weird you know uh, seeing I'm a, I'm a platforming kind of guy and then we got a a real cool game or game series it's two games I remember I was at an expo here in Gothenburg, Retrospelsmessan, uh, this was maybe like seven, seven, eight years ago. And the guys that made this game, uh, I don't know if they, is, they are from Gothenburg, but yeah, they're definitely Swedish. They were there to display the first game. And, uh, you know, it came out on PC and Steam and stuff like that. But I think it was last year it came out on the Switch. And then it came out physical, and then they made a second game, and uh, it's uh, fantastic, like uh, Metrovania, uh, throwback, retro-looking, 8-bit, uh, 16-bit, uh, uh, 2D platformer, uh, action-adventure, Metrovania <laughs> kind of game. And yeah, it's uh, I met these guys, so it's even cooler, and that's uh, Alva's collection. And that is with Alva's Legacy and Alva's Awakening. Alva's Awakening is the first one. So I played the first one, but I never played the second one. So I'm so happy that, that this came out in physical. So super happy I got this. And this game I is still in, in plastic, but I played it. I played it at my friend's Andreas place and I really liked it. So, you know, I had to get it. It's from Red Dot Games. Uh, it's probably the only Red Dot Games I really have kept to be honest that is flasher and I, I'm not really into these kind of fast paced uh, platformers never have been because that's not platformer for me but this is made in such a smart and cool way and uh, you don't really need to be fast all the time either um, but it definitely helps but splasher such a cool platformer and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I played it at Andrea's place for like a couple of hours, a few hours. And I really enjoyed it, so yeah, I, I decided I need to get that. And so I did, but this is this is for a long time ago. And the last thing in this segment, before we continue on, it's going to be a long video. Uh, it's the, the Game & Watch, uh, The Legend of Zelda. And it's not open, I don't know if I'm going to open it, I probably am, but... It's such a cool thing. This is what started Nintendo for me. Uh, Nintendo for me wasn't uh, the NES, you know, the NES. Uh, for me, 8-bit was Commodore 64, but I got into Nintendo with Game & Watches. Game & Watches was a huge hit in Sweden. Uh, I mean, I think it's what the, the country, the area in the world where Game & Watches sold the best. and. Uh, this is where they, this is where they came first, and due to a Swedish guy that brought him in through Barisola. If you know the Barisola story in Sweden and the Nintendo uh, collaboration, I mean, if it wasn't for Barisola, you know, we don't, we can't really know if Nintendo would have been like it is now. Nintendo <laughs> kind of. Um, Persuaded, persuaded them to sell outside Japan as the first person ever uh, to do that. So, uh, yeah, that's why Nintendo has always been a huge hit here in Sweden because, yeah, this is where it came first. 
I wish somebody did a, like a documentary on it and, uh, for the English viewers as well. Because it's a fascinating story, the whole thing about Nintendo and Barisola and what Barisola is for Nintendo and what Barisola does for Nintendo. That is so, 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 di so, so different than any, uh, anywhere else in the world because, yeah, they allow, Nintendo allow Barisola to sell and, and, yeah, it's, it's a long story, you have to look into it. Hopefully somebody makes a documentary about it in English. Uh, yeah, but Game Watch. The Legend of Zelda. Yeah, of course I need to have this, me collecting Zelda and everything. That's it for this segment, uh, on to the next part. Mm. Let's keep going. Um, so this, this is, uh, I did a swap with a guy. I had two uh, pre-order like steel steel books uh, that you got for when you pre-ordered a Switch game, you got the the steel book for free. Uh, I had the Mario Maker two one and another one that I didn't really fancy that much, and uh, so I traded with this guy that collected steel case steel books for the Switch. So it's it's not a game. But it's a, you know, the collector's edition, the special edition or something in that I don't know why I didn't pre-order because when it, when you had the picture of it, it looked like it was a, like a DVD size case and it didn't look as fancy as this one really. So I didn't pre-order it. So I traded the two steel books that I didn't pay anything for, for this. So this basically has everything except the game. So I have to get the game afterwards and that's not really a problem so i'm really happy with that i think it looks awesome in the collection and uh i'm definitely looking forward to playing this game eventually but i haven't bought it yet and uh, I, I heard really good things about it so it's going to be fantastic finally you know getting back to a 2d uh, metroid game again it's not that long though ago <coughs> since, since we got that 3ds game is it maybe it is maybe it's five years Maybe I'm just old and time goes, you know, grows together and uh, so I had to get this as well. And when it's a two pack or a three pack, I don't open it and I keep it like this. So two new uh, Amiibos and uh, yeah, they're, they're really cool. Same as an and the MMI, uh, which is, is supposed to be like a really tough one to handle in the game I'm getting chased by him it's gonna it's gonna stress me out I know it it's gonna stress me out and then I got some more amiibos and and two other amiibos I normally wouldn't get because they are kind of the from the NES area and I didn't really doesn't really bring any nostalgia for me the NES area I did, you know it's I played Commodore back then but it also had the game and watch one and uh, this was exclusive to uh, to the NTSC area, so it never came out of Europe. So I actually bought this from C. Cooper's uh, Double Jump Video Games. If you don't know who that is, uh, he has had a YouTube channel even longer than I have, probably for like 11 years now. I watched him, you know, since the beginning. He has a video game store now. So I got the three pack, and uh, yeah, this is, didn't come out of Europe, so I got a good price for this. So it's. Uh, Duck Hunt uh, with the dog and the duck, and then we got the Game Watch, and then we got Rob the Robot in a triple pack, and then these are staying in there as well. Double and three triple packs or bigger packs, I'm keeping them sealed. They stay like they are. And uh, then we got a big, big one. Uh, normally, I don't really collect a lot of you know figures except from amiibos, but. When it comes to Breath of the Wild, uh, I want to get all the, the like the main ones, especially you know like Link, uh, Zelda. I have those two now, and now uh, first four figures is um, dishing out the four champions. Uh, basically, they weren't they really like six champions, you know, Link and Zelda as well. But the first one they uh, that got out was Rivali. So I'm definitely looking forward to Daruk the most, but I'm getting all the four, uh, all the four champions uh, because you know it's my favorite game of all time. 
So I buy from uh, First Four Figures, uh, you know, directly. I think they're in Hong Kong or Singapore. Because I want the exclusive edition. So here's the exclusive edition box. It's absolutely amazing. I don't know if you can see that in the video. But yeah, it's so cool. It takes up a lot of space. I probably would never be able to display these boxes though. But the figure is amazing. So the first one is Rivali, and this one came like uh, a couple of weeks ago. Fantastic! So yeah, I'm def I'm definitely getting all the all the champions, and uh, then I'm you know basically done uh, because I don't want to have too many of these like st statues because if you too many, it, it looks just silly with too many, and uh, so the four champions, Link and Zelda. The more Majora's Mask I have, and I also bought the shield as well that's coming, and I have perfect uh, two shells for it, and it's gonna look amazing. So I don't know when they're gonna put up the other three champions, but I think Daruk's gonna look beast. So yeah, this is uh, end of this part or this section of the pickup video. So let's continue on. So next up, uh, this is a pile of games that I'm, I'm, I didn't buy because I wanted any of them for myself. Uh, but I got it for so cheap. Uh, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games for like seven, eight pounds. And uh, it's basically not a, not really good games, but you will see at the end why I bought them, and then I will try to explain. So it's Mega Drive games, and I don't. Uh, call it for that anymore um, you know it's a good system I'm, I'm not bashing it I wouldn't call it the mighty mega drive as Scott always does gets on my tits down <laughs> I'm just kidding Scott uh, what is this one called PGA Tour Golf Golf 2 so there's a lot of EA games here it's almost just EA almost so all in a very nice nick and this one wasn't complete though then we got EA Hockey. Never tried this one. Uh, everything is really nice, Nick. Uh, NHL 96. Jesus Christ, that's heavy. Uh, yeah, probably could get 50 cent for that. Uh, then uh, a game that I actually played a lot and I had before. That's uh, Super Hang On. Uh, or did I? Play this much more in the on the arcade maybe. I think I had this so super hang on. Heavy, so we got the manual. Then we got NH NHL PA hockey ninety-three. See a thing here, and you got NHL ninety-five. And then I, I got these I got this bundle because of these two. So in there there was Elite Serie 95, and this is a, a Swedish Chef exclusive. If you you know collecting the powerful set, you definitely need this one. So this one was in there as well. And uh, the sad thing that is not, that 95 is not complete, but it's very nice, Nick. Uh, but it had 96, and uh, and 96 is complete. And uh, yeah, if you, if you want to buy 96, it's way more difficult to find these days than 95. Uh, if I started collecting these for for my British friends like 10, 15 years ago, I would have loads of them. But they've been more scarce over the years and they're not as cheap as they used to be. But I got this bad boy for like less than a pound, so I'm not, I'm not complaining. So it looks in 96. So... Why did I buy this then? Why do I? Because I want to help out my British friends, of course. So now Al, this one without manuals, not yours, of course. But now Al, these are these two are yours. So you got you got the set now. So next time I'm in England, I will have this with me. But also, and I have two more ninety fives. So there's one with manual. That's for Sega Zombie, Scott. 
and uh, we'll try to look for more 96 for him as well and uh, this one I'm not decided uh, not sure who else collects like full sets of uh, of the Mega Drive um, I already give it 95 and 96 to, to TUK but yeah so the Elite Serien collection is getting bigger so uh, that's why I got them it's always nice to bring some some love from Sweden when I go over to you guys so next up is uh, a lot of different things here and uh, we can start I just want to put that somewhere so it doesn't show in the picture you can look at that later on hold on uh, yeah, I bought a PS3, so I wanted to get back the games that I really wanted, and uh, it's not that many. I would say between 20 and 30, and I already got like 12 of them already here, so let's go through them. And of course, it's Uncharted. Uncharted 3, and Uncharted 2, the Steelbook one, of course, and where's Uncharted 1? Drake's Fortune. There you go. So yeah, so happy to get this trilogy back, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing that. And then we got uh, Heavy Rain. Uh, that's another one from these game developers I want as well. I don't remember what it's called, but I definitely want Heavy Rain back. Last of Us, of course, needs to be played again. Uh, didn't finish this back then, which was weird. And uh, 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 definitely a hidden gem in the PS3 library, Enslaved. A fantastic, like, I don't know, 3D platformer, action platformer, a little bit like Tomb Raider sometimes, and, and action based. And yeah, it's very cool. So good. And then uh, we've got another game series that I really really like and that's Bioshock and this is the sleep cave version for the first one absolutely love Bioshock that's the second one and uh, the third one I hmm maybe I should give this a I didn't really give it a, a try because I, I read so many reviews on it so I, I thought I wouldn't like it so I haven't really played this one so I definitely look forward to getting Bioshock 3 but it needed to be the you know the trilogy and this one was a no-brainer as well Ico and Shadow Colossus the HD uh, classics yeah that needed to be done and yeah Metal Gear Solid HD collection that's with the uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater and uh, Peace Walker isn't that a PSP game Peace Walker yeah I think so so that needs to be done as well and uh, then uh, I need to one two and three of these as well and that's little big planet I absolutely love these 2d platformers uh, a bit childish maybe but I really like them so that was all the ps3 I've gotten already so that's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so yeah twelve games already so we are already halfway through uh, all the ps3 games I'm gonna get I already mentioned like 3D, 2D Dot Heroes, uh, Puppeteer, and there's a few more on the list. Then we got two more uh, Wii U games that I wanted. Uh, I think there's two games with Disney's planes on the Wii U, but I got the first one that's just called Planes now. Uh, yeah, I have to get that and uh, yeah, complete. So yeah, I have to get that. I never had that one before. So one more to the Wii U collection is cool. And this one I had before, I don't know why I sold it. Probably because I have had it on other systems. This 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 game has come out on so many systems, that's ridiculous. And uh it's a good 3D platform and that's K. So that's wonderful. Yeah. So that's uh, this section and then uh, next section will be the last. And we will end this pickup video finally uh, yeah so we're getting to the end of the video and uh, yeah what, what 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 do we have here some Wii, Wii U uh, DS 
one more PS5, PS3 game <laughs> and another PS2 game. I don't know why I bought that. I don't, it was so cheap. I couldn't, I couldn't leave it there. So I went to a store here. We actually have one store that kind of sells retro video games in the city. Uh, I mean, the, the metro area of the city is like over a million. And still, we, we don't have any video game stores. It's fucking insane. Everything is online nowadays. They all died. Uh, there are some left, but not in this city, in, the, in, in this country. But yeah, so sad. But this little small piece of heaven we have. Uh, I found a few games. And, uh, and, and it's a friend of mine that owns it. So, win-win really. And I didn't know that this game came out. I know this is on the Switch, but I didn't know that it came out on the... This, this is like a prequel, prequel to it, I think. I don't think it's the same game. Uh, but it's the Party Squad on the 3DS. So I saw that and I'm, I'm like, yeah, I need to get that. Because uh, if it's anything as, you know, as a Switch game, uh, as a platformer, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely getting that. So I got that, and this one, I don't know much about it. It's a it's a platform game, a puzzle platformer game, and I knew about it somewhere back of my head. And when I saw it, and it was an American version, which I want on the DS, and it wasn't expensive, I'm like, yeah, I'm getting that. So this is a bit of a I took a little shot with this one. I don't really do that anymore for the system I collect, but that's cookie and cookies and cream. Cookie and cream. I think that's like a cartoon. And uh, this is like a puzzle platform, and it looks really cool on the back. And uh, it wasn't too expensive either, so. And it's American, that's what I want. Because I want the spines. And uh, as we all know, DS is uh, region free, so that don't, don't really matter. And then this one was so cheap, so I, I absolutely love Phantom Pain, uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, so they had, to, they had to go back in the PS3 collection now that I have a PS3 again. And uh, day one edition, it says there. And I saw this, this was like £4, and I used to have this one in PAL. Uh, it's a great card game, and I couldn't leave it there. Probably never gonna play. This is just a shelf piece, or I don't know why I bought it. To be honest, but it's one man cart, the Japanese version of it, and uh, yeah, it was so cheap, so I couldn't I couldn't leave it there. Uh, crazy stuff. Uh, then we got some Wii games, and uh, Wii is probably the only system when I step outside the box. And uh, please let this never happen. But if I decided to go for like a full collection of you know a system ever which I which I'm not uh, I would go for the Wii because it's yeah it's, it's cheap and there's so many quirky games on it and uh, yeah it's fun to collect for but yeah I did I step outside the box with the Wii a lot and uh, I enjoy it because it doesn't cost a lot of money at all and uh, we've got some more Wii games here and some of them are really wonderful for the collection as well so not all of them are like stepping outside the box at all. This one I had before, this is funny, if, if you're playing uh, with friends in the couch, that's Jenga. We all know, you know, the game Jenga and uh, playing on the Wii with the Wii modes are fantastic, but up to four, four players. So I was happy to get that back. And I never played this one and I always wondered what it, what's it, what's it, what it is about. So that's Simpson, uh, the Simpson game. So I, have, I was happy to get that uh, for sheep as well. And then we got a light gun game. Uh, those are always good on the Wii. It's probably the best system uh, there is for the for light gun games, I think. That's Kokoto uh, Magic Circus. There's a lot of different Kokoto games. I think it's like a French series of games, if I remember right. That's Kokoto games on the GameCube and the Wii. I haven't seen them after that though. And then I bought Red Steel. It was so cheap, but I already have Red Steel, so this is going in the selling pile. And then we got the games I was really after. I'm, I'm actually now finished the League Lego uh, collection or game for the Wii, and 
I already had this game. I had these games before. I think it's like the third time I buy them now. <laughs> but I don't know why I sold them. These are really good Lego games. And that is Harry Potter uh, year 1 to 4 and 5 to 7. So this one is always kind of cheap. But this one is always more pricey. But I got them as as steel. But when I was buying this one online. There was a guy selling on Facebook, so I took down the, the maximum bid on this one to the lowest I could. And uh, I won it for like £4. Uh, maybe you think that's much, but that's that's a good price here for it. So I won this for £4, but I already bought the other one as well for like £3. So I got two of them now. I will keep the best, the best, uh, the one in the best nick and most complete. So one is going in the sell pile. But the one I was most happy with was this one. I've won this for 90 Swedish crowns. That's like seven pound, seven pound fifty, uh, which is really good for Harry Potter two or Harry Potter years five to seven. So I finished the Lego Lego set, the subset. <laughs> People always talk about subsets. I got my subset finished, mate. So now we come to the last thing, and this is another console. And this is the console I already have, but I don't have this version. So I always wanted uh, this color of the Wii U, and that's the white one. And the white one didn't sell that good, if you remember, you know, it was you know, almost the same price and uh, it was uh, much less space in the hard drive. So people went for the black one, and uh, so the, weak one, uh, the white one is more... It's kind of more rare now to get and it's definitely going to be something that's going to be more expensive than the black in the future and i always prefer consoles to be other colors than black uh, because i don't like uh, you know the black stuff everything has to be black if it's like uh the dd dvd players the blu-ray players the consoles blah, blah blah the tv everything has to be black i don't understand that we need more color in our world and uh so finally I got a white Wii and it's a very nice nick after cleaning it up and I'm so happy with it and uh, yeah it looks so much better than the black one I think and in very nice nick and it came with a lot of some games as well so I'm going to recoup uh, and try to get some money back uh, I don't remember what I paid for all. I think I paid like Around hundred pounds for the console and the games, maybe about one ten, maybe. And uh, yeah, it came with a. Hold on. Came with a nice, the nice box as well. No like special edition or anything, just the normal white. And it came with a couple of games as well, so I'm gonna keep two of them. I kind of thought I had both of them, but I didn't, so I'm gonna keep two of them. I'm gonna sell these. I'm not gonna get much money for them though, but. You know, maybe I can get maybe I don't know. One of the games is pretty expensive. Uh, maybe I can get like 50, 60 pounds almost for these. At least 40, 50. Who knows? We got Arkham Origins, Batman. All of these games are complete. The nice Nick. Uh, that one is a cheap one, and one of my favorite games of all time. And especially on the Wii U is Super Mario 3D World. My god, I play this game so much. Easily over 200 hours on this game. And one of the best LEGO games there is. LEGO City Undercover. And this was... Uh... Oh, the battery's going down. We have to be quick. LEGO City Undercover. Probably get some bobs for that. Super Mario Maker. Uh, the first one. Cool. One I'm keeping is Super Marvel Super Heroes. Uh, I, didn't, I thought I, you know, I thought I had this one, so that was weird. Then we've got Batman 2 uh, DC Superheroes, which I thought I had as well. Uh, yeah, so I'm keeping that. And you know, the, the best one of the bunch is Sonic Lost World. And you think, you know, that's not an expensive game, but it's a Deadly Six one, Deadly Six edition. I could probably get almost up to like thirty pounds for this one, so I'm super happy that that was in there. Uh, you know getting getting some money back and uh, let's keep going before the everything dies So uh, the battery died ho hey ho always uh, always happens in my videos, so 
Yeah, I showed the Wii U, the white one, and then uh, we're gonna go through the games that came with the bundle. I'm gonna keep uh, two of them. Two of them that I already thought I had. I have probably had them before. But <laughs> anyway, maybe, I, maybe I can recuperate some money uh, for the bundle I bought, and uh, yeah, I will. I will be able to do that because one of them are pretty expensive. Not very expensive, but a little bit. You'll see at the end. The first one is uh, Batman Arkham Origins. One of my favorite games on the system, Super Mario 3D World. I always say Super Mario 3D Worlds because you look at the look at the tail there. That's an S. Why did they put the tail like an S behind World there? It's Super Mario 3D Worlds. That's what I say anyway. One of the best Lego games ever. Uh, Lego City Undercover. People say this is the Lego game GTA of Lego games. I'm like, what? It had nothing to do with GTA. Uh, you play as a cop. It's a good Lego game and it's funny. There's a lot of good humor in this one. Uh, Super Mario Maker. I already have this one. And uh, this is probably the only time you will see Marvel, something Marvel in my apartment, really. I, I can't really stand the whole superhero thing nowadays. Uh, the, the Disney stuff, it's horrible. And it, it's weird because I, I kind of grew up uh, reading, you know, a lot of comics like Spider-Man, The Hulk, Fantastic Four, any other Marvel, probably some more. Still have them at my mom and dad, but nowadays, no. No, <laughs> no, 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 it's shit. Uh, and yeah, Batman is not a superhero. He's just a he's just a cool guy, strong guy with gadgets. Don't get me started. Batman is cool. I like him. So this is Batman two, DC superheroes, uh, DC superheroes. Uh, that's Superman you see there. Uh, some other one. So I I kind of. 100% sure I had this, but I didn't. So that's weird. So I'm keeping that one as well. But the last one is uh, Sonic, the Lost World, and you're like, it's not. That's not a pretty. That's not expensive, but it's a Deadly Six edition. So the last one I saw that sold here was sold for like 30 pounds. So it's a good nick. It's you know complete with everything. So I'm definitely gonna get back some money for this one. So I was really happy to see that in the in the pile so last three games now uh, of this very long uh, pickup video and I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, let's do let's do this one I'm really happy to get this uh, some people say it's a remake and uh, but it's not it wasn't really exactly what we were asking for but I like it it's good and uh, you know, uh, like on games on the Wii is fantastic, and I always wanted this edition because the controller and the box, and that is GoldenEye 007 James Bond. Uh, what do you call this? It's a limited edition, special edition, whatever. Yeah, it's a limited edition classic controller pro the, with the, the fantastic, I think it's unused to be honest. Uh, classic pro, pro controller which is one of my favorite controllers uh, it's absolutely amazing to play games this one will I use this one I probably use one of the whites but uh, uh, yeah this is definitely something that will probably go up on display to be honest uh, yeah I'm happy about that got that for a good price and the last two games are two new games that I just bought uh, a couple of days ago and two of the, both of them are like uh, be giving so much praise and uh, so I'm so looking forward to playing them but I can't really decide which one to start with uh, I heard this one is so so long you can play you can play this hundreds of hours if you want to get everything so I don't know I'll probably start with the other one but that's Star Wars the Star Skywalker Saga which uh, expands the all the movies and uh, I've seen the reviews of this and people love it. So, yeah, it's a lot of good humor as well. It's funny. It's like it's like playing a like a comedy. 
and it's not just for kids. If you if you haven't played Lego games, maybe you don't know, but it's a lot of uh, growing up uh, uh, jokes as well. It's so funny, and uh, it's a lot of references that the kids don't want to understand. So it's definitely for us as well. And then, of course, Kirby: The Forgotten Land. I'm so looking forward to this. Uh, finally, a real 3D uh, Kirby game because the the other one wasn't really 3D, was it? This is the the real deal. And uh, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not like Mario Odyssey <laughs> with Kirby in it. No, this is much more like Super Mario 3D World. Uh, if you look at the camera and the, the asymmetric uh, kind of uh, 2D. 2.5D almost, so I would I would I would compare it much more to Super Mario 3D World than uh, Mario Odyssey, at least from what I from what I see. Uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to playing this one. Um, yeah, that's really cool, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of games in the future I'm looking forward to, but not that many that it was back in the days. But yeah, this is. This pickup video is it's like eight months, so it's not really that bad if you if you think about it. So um, yeah, I'm 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 content with this, and uh, it's actually got back <laughs> into PlayStation again, but it could be helped. I miss the PS3 too much. Uh, it's definitely the the PlayStation sister for me. Nostalgia-wise, it's the PS1, but. I no way uh, those games <laughs> no maybe Symphony of the Night is the, probably the only one I would pick up to be honest but the rest no no it's like dog shit so yeah PS3 a Wii U white one that's good so yeah that's it guys uh, until next time and uh, yeah hit me up on social media I'm kind of back and uh, in a more lifted up way. <laughs>